There were teams that felt like you wouldn't be good for the locker room because you're outspoken and everything, but Pete Carroll did sign you to the Seahawks. You didn't end up playing for the Seahawks. But uh, I think in that period, how do you feel about how you presented yourself in that setting? Uh, with the Seahawks? Mm -hmm. um, shocking to me that, you know, I wasn't able to uh, really s remain on the roster um, and make the 53-man roster, but uh, it's unfortunate. But uh, his reasoning was, you know, they wanted to go in a different direction. And I think that's, that's uh, with... Uh, the youth and the younger guys and um, you know when I went into his uh, office and he explained you know why he was cutting me he really didn't have anything bad to say he just said they wanted to go in a different direction mm -hmm. and so uh, for myself it was disappointing uh, I wish I could have stuck it out uh, at least you know for another year or so um, based on you know why I got cut I mean obviously I played in one or two games I was a little rusty dropped a pass I know in uh, uh, we played Denver, uh, I split the secondary, uh, the ball came over top, I saw it, and, you know, I dropped it. So, you know, again, when Michael Jordan came back, you know, from a yeah. uh, two or three year layoff or what have you, he wasn't, he didn't come back to, to, to his rare form. So, uh, for myself, I think, you know, had I had a couple more, you know, practices, weeks of practicing games under my belt, you know, um, because the speed was there, you know. Other than that, like I said, I had a few drops here and there, and that's just a little rust to be shaken off. But other than that, you know, uh, I enjoyed the opportunity. Um, I didn't make it, and, you know, now I'm on to bigger and better things. What did you think about Russell Wilson, and what was it? Did you see that he could be someone that would end up being a star? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, upon arriving there, and then once I arrived, um, they had told me, you know, like, you know, we're going to have a young guy that's going to be throwing to you. That's like he's pretty good um, because at that time, Matt Flynn had been signed, uh, signed on, I think, a year before that year. And so he was a starting quarterback. So uh, they said, we have a young guy that's going to be pushing Matt Flynn, you know, and who obviously thinks that he should be a starter, or could be a starter by the by the by the uh, end of the year. Um, so I was like, oh, OK. So, you know, we went through our workout. The guy was dialed in. He was on point. Um, and, and now you're critical of quarterbacks if you have to be. I mean, I'm just going to give you the real, you right. know, whether it's critical or not. I mean, if I'm saying something that sounds critical for me, it's constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but I saw what everybody is now seeing. And obviously the Seattle Seahawks, <laughs> the, the personnel and the staff, they saw it as well. Mm -hmm.